Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Today is the reveal of Season 6 of Modern Warfare 3 and the haunting event for Modern Warfare 3. And it begins on September 18th. Um, before we jump into it, if you guys want more videos just like this in the future, go ahead and smash that like button and hit that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. Alright, so let's jump into this roadmap. And then we can jump into a lot of things in the blog post. So first on the Call of Duty Warzone side of things, we get a variant of Rebirth Island called Hellspawn. Um, it's Zombie Royale only and another mode uh, that goes with it. And another variant of Vondel, Vondel Knight, Zombie Royale only. So... These are the two maps that you will be playing Zombie Roy Alon. So, um, and then modes we got LTM. I don't know the name of this, um, but you also got the LTM of Zombie Royale. Um, moving on to Modern Warfare 3 maps, we get a new map um, called Drive Through. It's a 6v6 map, um, kind of creepy. It's very nice matching matching the whole um, haunting event theme um, and then we got mad mad cow 6v6 it's a variant of meat so that's very nice and then shipment maps variants you got arena shipment you got stay high shipment you got bit mint and then you got Ghost Ship, and you got Sunny Shipment. So those are all the variants for shipment, for the maps of shipment. Um, and now we're going to jump into weapons, operators, and more. New weapons, you got the cast off LSW, that's an LMG. And then, a, and then you got another one, is the DTI, DTIR 3006 battle rifle so very nice can't wait to use those in next week and then after market parts we can take a look at those in the blog post here pretty soon um, for the operators and skins for in the battle pass you will get Farah Farah and then you get Michael Myers in the battle pass and then you get Slame Fire in the battle pass so I don't know who slain fire is so he might be something new or in a scary movie or something I'm not sure let me know down in the comments and and then you got that freaky zombie black cell um, of ghost so very freaky I might get black cell for this I mean or the regular battle pass but who knows I'll when we go on through the battle pass and the blog post, I'll think about that. So, um, events we get the new Walking Dead Road to Terminus, and then the Purge, Purgatory Island, and then Trick or Treat Candy Hunt event, and the MW3 Rewind event. Um, featured bundles is Daryl Dixon from The Walking Dead, Trick or Treat, Terrifier and smile too so this is creepy all right now let's jump into the blog post so if you guys haven't watched the haunting trailer go ch go check it out um it's on the call of duty page so it's very nice they nailed it out of the park um just a friendly reminder to all if you guys don't know all the updates will come out at 9 a.m across all platforms on a new season on September 18th so yes alright let's see this is the overview love that art right there very cool um alright getting into first things first before uh, we are getting into multiplayer maps a core 6v6 map plus six new variants um, we already went over those in the roadmap um, but let's still jump right into it. Um, so drive through is at launch. It's brand new. It's 6v6 core, small sized. Um, this is the map size right here. 
and different areas of the map it looks pretty freaky um, so that clown is right there is pretty freaky right there we got mad cow at launch it's a variant of meat it's core 6v6 small size and yes and eh, it does look free pretty freaky so um that's another skin right there it, it gives me vibes of Max's wedding dress from Cold War so um you got five new variants of shipment at launch we saw we already went over these in the roadmap um you got arena shipment which looks pretty nice honestly very nice um you got another looking cool skin right there uh stay high pixelated we should man we should get like a pixels event from like the movie pixels a few years back i think that would be tying really good with this map um so yeah uh you got bitmit so same thing as you saw in the bit um event but shipment style and you got ghost ship it's a halloween theme for the haunting uh this is pretty freaky right here plus this one over here <laughs> and skins those skins look pretty cool too um you got sunny shipment you already played it so nothing new there um multiplayer modes hard point mutation infected and arcade uh, these skins are pretty weird i think they're in the black cell so uh, you got game mode arcade so and then you got game mode mutation and then you got infected um, I guess burger town will be infected so I guess you will be in the burger town infected burger town dude sorry I messed up on that um, very confusing uh, multiplayer rank play I won't go over that um, if you guys want more rank play information, there are a couple content creators that does uh, rank play. But these are the rewards for the season six rank play. So, yes. Um, moving on to zombies. Now, we are moving on to zombies. Now, there is. Um, so nobody knows about this new zombies content that is job dropping so let's jump right into it um i don't know anything about the zombies content um there were leaks and rumors which i don't believe them so don't believe leaks and rumors when it comes to new seasons new weapons and everything just and such more um about crossovers new season weapons you know because they will be wrong 90% of the time not 100% 90% of the time they will be wrong with the crossovers and and everything that's going on so it kind of sucks but we're gonna have to deal with it or just don't follow them all right uh, jumping into zombies content sorry short a uh, little five second pause there um, join the zombie celebration so it looks like we're going to be getting a zombie celebration in this, um, which is kind of nice. Um, to celebrate the final season of Modern Warfare Zombies, and as a thank you to all our Zombies players this year, we're amping up the fun with two major season-long advantages. First of all, operators will be able to access free dark aether rift runs for free after completing the initial the initial mission that unlocks them without the need to offer up a sigil very nice plus all schematics will recover twice as quickly very nice i can't believe that's happening we totally need that so this is a small overview of zombies um it's not much but i'm glad that they're doing 
their last zombie content where they open up free of everything the dark aether rift runs and you don't need to do a sigil and that's awesome these are two major season long advantages so you can do this probably this season and season one of black ops 6 and then after that you're gonna have to play black ops 6 for more zombies content so um also another thing for zombies is the plus all schematics will recover twice as quickly that's another huge big thing um i feel like a lot of people has been asking that but now we finally get that for our last zombie celebration content so jumping into call of duty warzone overview um we got our warzone content summary all right so this one is the haunting hell spawn map variant for rebirth island at launch this looks pretty sick pretty scary hopefully there's no jump scares out of the, the loot boxes because that will be terrifying and people will pee their pants so if you don't know what I'm talking about go look at previous streams from different content creators from for Dansk to other um, to other warzone maps and you will have jump scares so um, so these are some of the locations for the variant which which are kind of cool I do not know what's happening with the big red circle in the middle so yeah kind of cool though um, haunting the haunting Vondel night at launch um, is getting a rescan but it's gonna be at night which is just cool um, it is a reskin everything is looking nice clean um, the castle looks cool yeah very nice everything is looking cool shiny very nice um, and then Call of Duty Warzone modes Purgatory limited time mode hell spawn at launch so this looks insane and this giant thing in the corner right here oh my gosh I don't want to mess with that when I first launch next week and I will be going live next week on September 18th I'm going everything the battle pass and the aftermarket part uh, tomorrow there is going to be another video of uh, I will be going over the aftermarket part so there is going to be a, another video tomorrow as well um, so um, the skins are looking cool um, and then you got a zombie royale that's returning on the time time mode for hellspawn and vondel knight at launch very cool I love it and I love the forest skin as well. Um, this ghost black cell skin uh, is looking ridiculous. I love it. It's what all zombie creators need for this. So kind of nice and fun. Um, moving on to Call of Duty Warzone Season 6 rank play. Like I said, if you guys want, if you want someone to go over the rank play resurgence if you're big on rank play go ahead and go over to some of those content creators that are big on rank play and you can look at some of their information over the rank play so um these are some of the rewards in rank play i will show those um now jumping into season six call of duty warzone rewards now this i like i like earning new camos i like earning stuff when you play warzone it rewards you for doing something trying your best and whatnot so yeah um so you get four new camos and all of these look really good so the four new warzone weapon camos that you get is the fallout whispering veil 
um, Mutant Flux and Headed to Hell. So these are all zombies themed related since it's the haunting. Um, so yes. Now jumping into Call of Duty Warzone Mobile Overview. So if you have Call of Duty Warzone on your phone, um, it will link up to whatever platform that you're playing on Xbox or PlayStation and you can link that to whatever you got so I know I've been playing Warzone Mobile on my phone linked up to my Xbox so I can get those battle passes done while I'm playing on PlayStation 5 when I'm on the go so love it so much um next is over overview unified season 6 content for for dance um for multiplayer you get hard hat just like you see in modern warfare 2019 um which is kind of nice i love modern warfare 2019 it's way better than uh <laughs> it's way better than you know Modern Warfare 2019, I should say, is way better than um, Modern Warfare 2 because, you know, Modern Warfare 2019 with the haunting event is out of the park. They nailed it, you know, with Scream, uh, all those cool cosmetics. So, uh, new modes and features coming to Warzone Mobile. You get Zombie Royale and for dance. So, if you want to relive the moments of... Uh, for dance of zombie royale uh, back in the day of modern warfare 2019 go ahead i won't judge you if you want to play that version instead of the other versions um i mean urzik stand will not get a revamp of zombie royale or for the haunting event so just to clarify um so uh you get updated feature in the event store um, updated store bundles now this is what I'm talking about earlier when we were jumping into the section of Call of Duty Mobile so stay connected to overview this is what I'm talking about to all my friends family and etc of what they need to know and how to level up when they're on the go if you're at work if you're on a trip or if you're just having fun with friends you know you can play this so it's a good way to rank up your battle pass really good, really fast, and whatnot. Um, so, yeah, very cool. Um, Michael Myers is in the battle pass. We can get that in a second. I'm so excited. Uh, weapons detail. Um, Daryl Dixon. Um, we're going to go over that when we see the bundles because I want to say something about Daryl in The Walking Dead because he's, he's awesome. Um, moving on to the weapons detail. Um, let's jump down. Uh, DTIR 3006. Uh, battle rifle at launch. Battle pass sector 6. Um, levels. It's max at 20. Battle pass blueprint at sector 20. We can go take a look at this next week at their blueprints um, on September 18th next week on Wednesday when the whole season 6 at launch um, and then the other new weapon is the cast off LSW light machine gun um, at launch in battle pass sector 9 very nice it goes up to 18 levels 18 is the max and you get a battle pass blueprint at sector 14 so we're gonna do, go take a look at those um, when the full game launches um, and then moving on to aftermarket parts there will be three new aftermarket parts um, when they said three there will be no so week one is the haunting um, you will get one of these aftermarket parts week two you will get some of those and it ends on week three so yes um, very very unfortunate but everybody would like to play black ops 6 and I am fine with that because I am done with 
Modern Warfare 3. Um, the hunting events are very cool. I will play those. And But, you know, Modern Warfare 3 has some issues that I don't like. So, I mean, it's a fun game, but it's just... You know, the zombie content for Modern Warfare 3 just, um, you know, maybe not like the game so much. But, yeah. I'm ready for Black Ops 6. Um, so, week 1 or week 2, week 3, um, you will get the Jack Salvo for the Cat AMR Sniper Rifle. Um, you get the Jack Voltstorm, which is above. Um... For the Storm Ender at la uh, launcher, and then the MX Guardian shotgun, the Jack Lance, and I. This is it right here. That's an image. Um. So yeah. Um. Now, moving on to the Black Cell and Battle Pass. So we just went over all the new content that will be coming. Now this is the Black Cell and Battle Pass. Um, so we are going to jump into it right now. I will have timestamps down below in the comments. So if you want to jump to those timestamps um, or skip through to those certain things that you want to see, please do. This is a very long video and I'm trying to shorten it, but yes. I'm going over all in one. I know some content creators do separate, which I'm not taking their idea. Um, I just like to do it all in one to get it over with. So, um, Black Cell and Battle Pass, here we go. Um, so, this is the Ghost Black, Scale, Black Cell skin, which is gnarly. I love it. It gives me Resident Evil vibes, so very cool. Um, with the black cell, you get, um, let's see, oh shit, alright, sorry guys, um, my mouse was acting weird, um, you will get 1,100 COD points, new alone operator, which is this, um, you get the Ghost Kramer Black Cell Blueprint for the STG-44 Assault Rifle um, with Tracers and Death Effect. Uh, you get the Maximum Aspect Black Cell Blueprint, Blueprint for the Rival 9 SMG with Tracers and Death Effect. You, got, uh, you get the Throat Rip Finishing Move. Um, so, and you also get tear skips, um, and then you get additional 10 operator skins for Farah, Michael Myers, Makarov, Banshee, Valeria, Slamfire, Dokabi, Riptide, Jabber, and then six weapon blueprints. Um, this, uh, Battle Pass Overview is amazing. So you get a clown right there. You get Michael Myers when you get the Battle Pass. Um, you get a whole bunch of crazy stuff. Um, so number 11 or 100 looks gnarly. I want to see that next week because I'm curious. Um, so, and then Slam Fire, Michael Myers, this one looks gnarly in Sector 1, but these blueprints look sick. You got your new weapons right here, the two new weapons. So, I might, so I might get Black Cell. Um, I might just get Black Cell, uh, next week. Um, but I just I got COD points for the regular battle pass, so I might just cap the regular battle pass. Kind of want the ghost skin, but you know. So, but it's a skin. I mean, it's an operator. Nothing fancy about that, but this one looks cool. So yeah. Um, 
Moving on, Fair Karim Spec Guru at launch. It's an instant reward. It's an instant reward sector. Um, Michael Myers is in the Cortec launch, so he looks pretty good. I like it. I mean, he's Michael Myers, so. Um, you got Slam Fire. I don't know who that is. He's on the Spec Guru side at launch. Sector 11. Uh, he will be right here. Um, so yeah. I love the emblem right here with the skull and the two swords. Very nice. Um, and then you get Alone. This is the operator. Um, Cortec at launch. Very insane. It's giving me gentle grievous vibes. <laughs> Alright. Now we're getting into the new store offerings. So, as I told you once before, this Daryl Dixon we all been waiting for. But I mean, new season, the show hits really hard for Daryl Dixon. I mean, I love the series; very cool. It's a treasure. It's a tracer pack operator bundle, and. I mean, you have Rick Michonne promoting their new show, which is phenomenal. I love the show. Now you have Daryl Dixon's show, which is fantastic. I love the show. Can't wait to see the new season. Um, so I'm going to get Daryl Dixon. I got Rick. You got to have the brother, Daryl Dixon. I mean, it's a good thing they didn't have Shane because some people don't like Shane. Some people do. Some people don't. Shane, the Punisher, might be good for the haunting event, but sadly that didn't make the cut. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, this, very cool. That's the image. I can't wait for that. So, I'm going to get it. It comes out on. Bundles, blocks set arrive on September 17th. So the day before um, Yeah, so the day before season six comes out. So we can find out more information when that comes out. So can't wait to get, get this bundle. My favorite character in the whole Walking Dead universe. I like Maggie. I like Daryl, I like Rick, I like Rosita, those are my favorite, I like Gabriel, I like Aaron on The Walking Dead, those are pretty nice, if you guys agree of all my favorite Walking Dead characters, leave a comment down below, um, let's get through this, um, this already turns out to be a long video, anyways, um, you get the Tracer Pack Terrifier Operator Bundle, which looks terrifying, <laughs> really terrifying, um, you get the Tracer Pack Trick or Treat Halloween Mask Pack. So, very cool. Very interesting, but very cool. Um, you get the Tracer Pack Trick or Treat Sam Operator Bundle. Very interesting. But it looks very cool. I like the art of it. Um, the, that looks creepy. <laughs> Um, you get the Tracer Peg Smile 2. Now, this one is way creepier. Oh, my gosh. And it's a Tracer Peg. Fun. Well, this is way more creepy. People are going to rock this. So, very insane looking. Um, and then other upcoming bundles. Um, the Skeleton one. Ooh, that one looks cool. That one looks gnarly. This one looks pretty cool. Um, this one looks cool as also. And then this one, um, this bride one right here, the one that I'm circling with my arrow. Um, this one reminds me of Max, Samantha Max's um, bundle in Cold War. Um, so, yes. Um, now we're getting into new weekly challenges, seasonal prestige events. So, 
with the launch of these new weekly challenges for all week three stuff. Um, this is a Halloween camo. It's a weekly mastery weapon camo. Um, it's animated, which is going to be sick. I like animated camos. Uh, turns out I will be getting this chain breaker camo for season five at the end of season five for of tomorrow. Um, I kind of don't want the camo, but you know, since you love the parts, you unlock the camo anyways. <laughs> so I definitely aren't gonna unlock this camo when all weekly challenges from one to three launches all three weeks so this one looks pretty cool uh, prestige is going to go all the way up to level 1250 very insane the calling cards look cool for sure um, so these are all the prestige rewards. Now we're getting into season six weapon prestige camo at launch. This looks gnarly. It is animated. I love I love the prestige camos. And I think the prestige camos are way better than the master camos for multiplayer and not zombies, but they are better than zombies. Um, definitely this one, this prestige camo beats um, zombies and multiplayer for sure. But here's a real question. Um, before I end off the video, do you think weapon prestige camos should come back to Black Ops 6? Because if they do... They better have some good looking camos just like this one for season six. Very cool. Not just specifically for season six for Black Ops Six, but for like prestige camos for something like this that's animated for Black Ops Six in the future. So Um Season Six events. Oh man, I love that Daryl. Oh my gosh. Alright, so let's get through this. You got the Haunting, which goes from September 18th to October 16th, which is nice. So a whole month and a half. So a month and a half of a month of October. Very nice. So this is the week before. So October 16th is the week before Black Ops 6 launches, which is nice. So it ends on a Wednesday for the Haunting. And next week... On October 25th it is a Wednesday, so nice. Um, the Walking Dead Road to Terminus event, very nice. It's gonna be XP focused, so yes. Um, this will go from September 25th to October 2nd, so I guess the. Daryl Bundle won't launch until September 25th, so don't worry. Um, September uh, Trick or Treat Candy Hunt will launch October 2nd to October 16th. Very cool. Um, Purgatory Island September 25th to October 16th. Um, and then the Modern Warfare 3 Rewind Activision dates. So, kind of, kind of curious to see what that is. So, um, October 9th and October 16th. And it says here, it's a wrap, folks. Take a walk down memory lane and complete challenges and earn rewards. So, that is the end of the blog post. Thank you guys for so much for watching this video. What are your thoughts on the haunting? Is it good? Is it bad? Um, I love the haunting. Um, can't wait for the prestige camos. And I can't wait for Daryl Dixon to come out. Because I want to get Daryl Dixon. Daryl Dixon is one of my favorite Walking Dead characters for sure. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, so yeah. If you guys want more videos just like this, let's reach 
um, 50 views or 100 views if you guys want more videos like this for weekly updates um, or more videos every day in the week let's get 150 views if you guys want every every video in a week so yes see you next time and peace out everybody